the last month we've been uh, conducting an operation to close uh, three of the largest bases here uh, in uh, Helmand. Uh, and this has been enabled by the continued uh, progress shown by the Afghan security forces are now leading the majority of the operations here in Helmand. Today's was the last of some 30 combat logistic patrols that we have delivered in the last six months or so, primarily to lift all of the equipment and material back into Bastion from Central Helmand so that those bases can close. It's been a huge effort. Combat logistic patrols do exactly what they say on the tin. They are a deliberate operation to either deliver or recover logistic support. And they have to be able to protect, protect themselves and, if need be, fight their way out of trouble. So they're called a combat logistic patrol. I have extraordinary, a sorry range of feelings today, mixed feelings. Uh, yes, relief that the task is almost complete. And a degree of nostalgia, yes, because I've seen some of these operating bases grow, regiments pass through them, uh, my own troops deploy and return, uh, and now we've emptied them out and they've either transferred or closed. And I, I will admit it was a little odd today, stood in main operating base price and it was a big empty shell with, with just our patrol and some troops from the manoeuvre battle group there all, all waiting to pull out and return to Bastion. And yeah, for those of us who have been here before, there is an element of nostalgia in that. One of the men on my patrol was on the very first combat logistic patrol eight years ago as a young soldier, and he was on, in my vehicle today um, on the very last combat logistic patrol. I imagine for him it's particularly nostalgic. Everything I've seen uh, since I've been out here this, this time, so since June last year, uh, leads me to believe that the Afghans um, will be able to uh, look after their own security. We've seen some pretty complex operations that they ran last year during fighting season. We see them continuing to operate throughout the winter and, and into, the, uh, into this year. Uh, they will be providing security for the election, which takes place next month, and then they will be continuing to provide security uh, during the, sort of the summer season, the, 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 the fighting season this year. So I've got no doubt that between the Afghan National Army, the Afghan National Police, that they will be, be able to provide their own security. Well, it's always a difficult question to ask when there, you know, when there has been a human cost uh, here in Central Helmand. Um, and I guess ultimately history will judge whether uh, you know, the worth of what we've been doing at our government's request here. But when I speak to my Afghan counterparts, they're really clear that they're in a much better place, that they now have an Afghan forces that are of the right size and capability, that the Afghan government here is functioning and able to deliver some of those functions that we would expect to back in the UK. So they're optimistic about the future. So I think when making those judgments, it's really important that we um, bring some of that progress into life for the people back in the UK.